whole concept with the Zero is to sort of get back to that original Lotus 7 concept back in the 60s from Lotus, but make it for today. Um, so there's lots of unique features. Um, ergonomically, there's a lot more space inside the car. Um, so for larger people of today, it's, there's more room. Uh, dynamically, the chassis is a lot stiffer, a lot wider. Uh, the footprint of the car is wider as well, and the way we've done the weight distribution. So it's sort of incorporating all that modern technology thinking into a classic design. We had never had CAD, we've always done it the old fashioned way. Myself and Richard, we uh, went to a partner of ours in Germany um, and they used Siemens um, and one of the problems we found with, um, with that software for us being new to this was that it was very complicated to work with. We chose SolidWorks, the simplicity and sort of the, um, it, it was more intuitive how to, how to use it. Before you'd make a part, try it on a car, now we can get the fits and the, the edges and everything so everything lines up perfectly before we've even cut the metal. Currently sort of doing the, the Mark V version of the car and getting every single part onto the SolidWorks platform with an aim to sort of have manufacturing drawings, assembly drawings, full bill of materials, down to bolt sizes, torque settings, lubrication on all the various parts, just taking it to that full OEM level. What we've found is we can use an existing component that we've drawn up, adapt it, for instance the shock absorbers. A lot of the parts are very similar, it's just the length and the spring rates and the internals that change, but the actual body and shafts are generic components, so the time saving is massive. Using SolidWorks, it's, it's very fast, um, it's very intuitive. Um, a lot of the controls on there uh, allow you to kind of cut corners as such, which in a, in a business, you know, the more time you can take out of designing a component, the, you know, you can, you can basically create another component after, after so many. So it's, uh, it's very beneficial to be able to take time out of, out of that design process. You can actually put the properties of the materials in now and um, doing sort of the cut through views of the part you can see what, what areas are thicker where you can pull bits out. We've got the chassis a lot stiffer because we've optimised some of the areas. We're sort of aiming to take weight out all the time. Being smarter with design and also using the same component twice within the car so it has two functions. It was, a, it was an original design before we had SolidWorks but SolidWorks has enabled us now to get the fit and finish, the finesse in it. We're going to use more of the rendered products in the future for, for marketing, especially the machine stuff, um, the billet aluminium stuff, the, the nice stuff that we create for the business. Uh, the rendered versions we'll be able to put out as a, um, a precursor of what there is to come. As we got more familiar with the software, you can very quickly do panels and parts that may take, you know, hours, days, and you can pretty much get them into a model straight away, straight into the CAM software on a machine. Within the same day, you can have a part on a car and trying it. Currently looking into SolidWorks Composer so that we can use the actual SolidWorks data to then illustrate directly what the, uh, what the end user needs to do. Having had it now for a couple of years, it's going to be a key part of the company and as we grow with the new products and everything, it's going to be the foundation of, of the company going forward.